Hello and welcome again everybody. So this video is part two showing how Logic Apps can be used to read uh, an automation output um, via a, uh, a PARS uh, JSON connector. So in part one uh, we created an Azure automation runbook uh, to shut down and start up VMs via PowerShell. Uh, so in this video, part two, we will connect uh, to that runbook via a Logic App to create a schedule to shut down and start the VMs up. And also we can customize it a little bit by adding an email um, to alert on the status of your VMs using that Logic app. So please subscribe if you haven't already. So videos are released weekly, helping you with your Azure technical guides and certification. Um, hit the subscribe link at the bottom right hand corner of the screen or in the description. Thanks. So if we now create our Logic app, if we type logic apps in the, the search bar and now if we click add to create our, our logic app okay so if we choose our resource group which in this case is rs2 if we could give the logic app a name choose a location and then if we click create if we choose reoccurrence, okay, now this is where we're going to create our schedule. So I want to schedule it on a daily basis. Um, so I want to start my VMs up at 7 a.m. in the morning. So if we choose one day, and then if we choose our time zone, Okay, now once the time zone is selected, so I'm going to choose my hour, which is going to be 7 a.m. So now after we've created our schedule, we want to uh, add a next step to this logic app. Okay, so if we search for um, auto, as in automation, and then we want to click on uh, create a job. Okay, so we want to choose our subscription. Choose our resource group. And we want to choose our automation um, account, which um, was created in part one. And then we want to wait for the job. We want that eight to equal yes. And then we can choose um, a run book name. Okay, so this was created in part one. So we've got a run book of stop start VMs. So if we take a look at that run book, uh, we can see we've got PowerShell which has been created there. Um, so this is the name of our, our run book, Stop Start VMs. Um, okay, so if we go back to our Logic app, we can then type in various parameters here. So we want to choose the VM names that are going to be started up in this instance. So uh, our VM names from our PowerShell script, so it's going to be Server A1, Server A2, we can just use commas to, to split those names out. And if we choose a parameter, which in this case for resource group is going to be RS2, that's our resource group name, and if we choose the action, it's going to be either start up or, or shut down. So then we want to start our VMs up on the schedule every day at 7 a.m. So if we type start up there. So if we click on a uh, new step again, if we choose automation again, if we get choose get job output this time. So we choose our subscription, our resource group, our automation account. Then if we choose job ID at this point. Okay, so the next step is to create our, our JSON connector to actually pull the JSON back from our run book. So if we go to our run book and see the output of it, we can see that we output JSON. So we need to copy this um, for our logic app. So if we create a new step, 
And then if we type JSON, and then if we use a parse JSON connector here, and if we paste our JSON from our output into this field here, and click done. Okay, and then if we choose um, content, Now that will then parse our JSON um, from our runbook into our logic app. So if we create another step, what we want to do now is actually email us um, that content and the status of our VMs. So if we type uh, an email address we want to use, click subject of the, the email. Um, so you can choose various um, JSON variables here. Okay, so if we choose uh, the resource group name, so it's in our subject line, and then the body of our email, we just want to have the content of the JSON. So it's basically going to tell us, you know, whether our VMs were stopped or started, and, and, and the status of these VMs every time it runs. So that's from the content of the, the parse JSON connector. So that's our logic app now created to talk to our one book. So let's start this and, and test it out. So if we have a look now, um, it's basically creating the job. If we go back to our VMs, they're in a stop state at the moment. So now they're actually in a running state. So this is a really nice way to control your, your run books from, from Logic Apps. So as you can see, it's all been running. Uh, they all started successfully, which is good. So if we go back to our Logic App, yeah, it's all good. So we go to our email, we can see we've now been sent an email. We've got our resource group in the, the subject line. Um, and then we can see the status of our VMs. Server 1 and Server 2 have both started up. So please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the video. Take care and I'll catch you soon. Thank you.